in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Today's Gospel tells us that he is, the Lord is referring uh, in this Gospel to the Jews who were called by him and still didn't seem to be able to respond. And so he in turn, the Lord, reaches out to everyone and said, come, come to the feast, and they come. So we have a very interesting setup in this. They come to the wedding, and if you know anything of tradition, and of the Jewish tradition, when you went to a wedding, everyone was given a wedding garment. They all had the same outfit on. And the reason for that was so that everyone felt welcome, everyone was the same, no one was shown any privilege, Everyone was invited, and therefore they were all treated with the same honor. And the Lord said, many were called, but few were chosen. And we know, as Orthodox Christians, that through the call of our baptism, we have been called by the Lord. But they aren't necessarily going to be chosen. Because in order to be chosen, in order to receive the full gift one has to do what the Lord says. And he says, if you love me, keep my commandments. He tells us if you want to have life, you have to lose it. If you want to have the, the joy of life, you have to give to others. You have to love your brothers, love your enemies. These are all the imperatives the Lord gives us to make our existence possible to continue it in eternal life and to have peace and happiness. And somehow we like the man who came with no wedding gown on, we figure, okay, that's nice, but I can do it my way. You know, I know they're all in the right garment, but I don't need to do that. He'll understand. How often do we do that with God? Well, God understands, you know, he doesn't expect this, he doesn't expect that. How can we know what God expects when we know the guy at the local gas station better than we know the Lord? Our life, is not put together to find God. Our life is put together for us in our minds to fit into the world. But the world is not lasting. It's only a temporary home. Our eternal home is the kingdom of God. So I hope this morning you will be able to hear that simple but very profound message. Many are called, but few will be chosen. And you have to realize you have to choose you have to choose to be called. You have to choose to get into the kingdom. And it's not just saying, yes, I want it. It's saying, yes, I want it by the way you live. Don't let anything or anyone be more important to you than Almighty God. And don't be foolish enough to think that while you're on this earth, you'll be here forever and everything will go your way. It does not. And no one is here forever. Because many are called, but few are chosen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.